Hi there, today I am going to show you how to configure TP-Link TLWR841HP router very easily. Before starting configuration, connect your power adapter to the router and Ethernet cable to the internet port of the router. If you are using a desktop PC having no network adapter, then you need to connect your computer with the router through an Ethernet cable. On the other hand, if you are using Wi-Fi enabled device to configure router, then you just need to connect through Wi-Fi. You can find the default SSID and password in the back side of the router. Use this SSID and password to connect with the router before router configuration. After connecting your computer with the router, open your browser and visit tplinkwifi.net or 192.168.0.1 IP address to enter into the control panel. Then use the username and password as admin. After logging in, now we are in the quick setup mode. In the first step, we need to select region and time zone. After selecting region and time zone, you need to select router as system working mode. Additionally, you can use this device as a range extender or access point also but in this case we select only router mode in the next step we must choose WAN connection type you can select one of them according to your connection type if you are confused about your connection type then select auto detect then the system will find automatically your connection type. In my case, my connection type is PPPOE. In this section, you have to provide your username and password provided by the ISP. Look here you have a uh, option to increase transmission rate. You can increase power transmission rate to 100%. Now we are almost done. Here you can see that your SSID and password. You can update them also. Here you have a warning message. If you use a desktop PC then it will not appear because desktop use wired connection. I am using laptop with wireless connection that is why this alarm appears in front of my desktop. Please read this and save configuration parameter. Now you can see that your laptop is connected with Wi-Fi network and you can browse anything. Reload the web page of the TP-Link router, then a network map will appear in front of you. This map tells you that how many devices are connected through this router. That's all about my tutorial. Friends, if you like my tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button. Thanks. Have a nice day.